New video fresh on your box. Stop clicking, watch. Ready yet? Get set. AMG's all that. What's up, my people? It is your boy AMG here, and we're gonna get into this review of Chapter Nine Thirty Five of One Piece. Now, the chapter opening, we see this um, six-armed user that is a monkey, which I'm wondering why it's six arms, because the monkey only has two, and I guess it could use its feet as arms too, because it has, you know, opposable thumbs on its feet as well, so I guess that could be why it just gave it four, and she already has two, but she has the monkey tail, and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she fine as hell, so... <laughs> I think uh, there's a new waifu that need to get put on the list because, uh, yeah, <laughs> her name is Solitary as well. So another card game, just like hold them and text and hold them and, you know, all that other stuff and Queen being in card game and King and Jack and all that other stuff as well. So that's interesting. Um, They get the, the guards, get the key stolen for the Sea Stone Cups by... Rizo. Now, how the freak is there only one guard, you know, trying to secure it? There should be super powerful people trying to do that because that should have been obvious that other people are going to go around trying to steal that, which didn't make sense to me. Um, Another thing is, Rizo got in there. How did he even get into the prison? It makes me wonder. So it makes me think that their security is not all that good, too. Or he could have the trap trap door fruit like everybody thought he does. And they could just call it magic or their uh, ninja arts. Another thing, Luffy, yeah, he still look bulk up. Luffy look, uh, <laughs> ooh, Luffy look like he been doing some work. We find out that Luffy even acclimates that he has been trained there. And the Scene Stone Cuffs have been helping him. So, and like everybody said, he's been training. And the Scene Stone Cuffs was little resistance and it helped them both up. And people were saying, which was the stupidest thing to me, that him, he has done stuff like this. And we've seen him do stuff before. But we haven't seen him, you know, work out with restraints. Because, like in real life, if you have restraints and people have the weighted vest and the weighted, you know, things that go on your wrist and your ankles that are little weights that are heavy but make you move kind of slower and heavier like you have a lot of gravity. Just like in Dragon Ball. They have, you know, they have the, um, what was it called? The... Ah, I can't remember this, what the spaceship was called that they used to go into that used to, you know, add a hundred times gravity and all that other stuff. Like, it's the same thing. You weigh your body down so you can train. So when you take those off or even leave from Naruto, when he had the weights on his arms and he took them off and you seen them, they were heavy as hell. Because all that weight on your body weighs you down. So you once you get to the point where you can do stuff and move normally like you were before then when you take them off it's like you're floating that's exactly how it feels so it's the same thing so that's basically what he said he was doing here now the elephant zone bro that this dude had the elephant smile user he looked dope as hell like i'm not even gonna lie even though he had the elephant in the middle of his chest he looked dope as hell and his shots hit the sneezes of the freaking elephant were like a machine gun or it was just like because it said pop, 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 pop. so i'm like that's that's kind of dope <laughs> I, I really like that um dude why i why are they doing queen like this queen is dancing and he's basically the mc hammer of the one piece world like what's going on i was waiting for them to say oh like what the heck this is get fucking out slide to the left like what is going on so he likes to dance and he says the only reason why he's this big is all the fat is muscle and also that if he lost weight all the ladies would be all over him like what the man get out of here with this bull bro but he comes up and he's like, yo, so tell me what all the bad stuff that's been happening. He asks the elephant guard. The elephant guard tells him, use his kid escape. And he has this face like, like Usopp normally has. And I'm just like, why would you do that to Queen though? Like Queen, he, 
I guess because it was so secure that people don't normally escape, so this is a surprise, but they really made his character more animated than normal. Like, for some reason, I don't, I, I, I gotta put that out there, Jack seems like he's more, I don't know, of a leader that we have found out in these recent episodes than Queen is. Because Queen just seems like he's a party guy. He seems like he's so out of place now with this character development that they're putting him through. Which, I mean, is interesting, but still. Okay, then we get to talk about Ebisu. So, they go to Ebisu, uh, Law, um, Frankie, and Usopp, and Sanji. Well, Sanji is supposed to be there. They go to Ebisu, and they say they just miss Zoro because he ran off because someone stole his sword. Now, really, Zoro has never, ever lost his sword and just let somebody just pick him up and take him like that like really he just he just didn't pay attention he wasn't even in prison somebody just stole his swords and he didn't pay attention to him that sounds very sketchy through all these chapters that's never happened to zoro where somebody just stole his swords like that when he wasn't like imprisoned or anything so that sounds very plot device to me to get him to move somewhere else and then what was the point of the plot device if sanji's not there so sanji's not there either so they didn't meet up he Potentially, I'm pretty sure he went to the bathhouse like everybody thinks he did. Now, who? <laughs> the bathhouse scene. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That, um, Robin and, uh, Nami. Yo, yo, yo. Hmm. Testosterone levels running high, man. Testosterone levels are high. They're real high. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> we come to find out, dude, that the bathhouse that they're in is a, um, unisex bathhouse, which is like, so, Nami, Robin, Nami, you hit, you, you basically beat the crap out of Sanji for getting too close, or you will hit Brooke. Because he is, um, as in see ring, but you, some random strangers that you've never met before in your freaking life, you took a bath and let them look at you. And the, <laughs> the funniest thing about this chapter is they said, move out the way, you ugly old hag. So <laughs> Shinobu, Shinobu did the ball buzzer technique again to them, which is funny as hell. And we find out the Hyoguro was we already seen last chapter that he was actually the um yakuza boss beforehand come to find out there's multiple yakuza bosses so is kuyashiro the leader of all of them or is he the leader of one faction of them that's an interesting point that they made right there and they also said that if they found him and he was able to be around them then he would get all the forces that come together and everybody would come behind him. So, interesting point again. There is your plot device. He is he a girl? He -o. He -o. I just like saying it like that, so forgive me. <laughs> he is the plot device. And this dude looks extra beastly, bro. I like how he used to look back in the day. He looks dope as hell. And what's with the flames, though, on his head and on his chin? Are those actually like on fire or what? Because that's very mm, interesting. Also, we see later in the bathhouse that the octopuses are the servants of the bathhouse. So it makes me wonder what was with that octopus who was in the water. Did he get accidentally stuck out there on a break or something? Because I'm pretty sure they're not there 24 seven and they switch out for ships or something. How did he get in the water? And maybe he was trying to find his way back to the bathhouse and was trying to get catch a ride with everybody else. Interesting point right there. Um, they also find out, everybody else in the prison finds out the Hyo was the old uh, Yakuza boss. How do you not know that he was Hyo Giro the flower if he has the same freaking name and he looks exactly in the same in the face. The, he even has the same freaking hair and same muscle. He has the same looks like glasses and everything. He's just smaller and feeble because they haven't been eating well. How do you not know that is the same person? 
Like, this is not a Clark Kent effect. He maybe went through some dramatic changes to everybody else. So he looks different. But to us, he looks exactly the same because of his face. But it's, that's still crazy to me. And Queen is basically like, yo, we still want you in the crew. If you join my crew, my section of my crew, I will have kind of pardon you for all your transgressions. And Luffy's like, nah. And then we see Hyo uh, saying basically that... I would really need you. He was like, can you please spare Luffy? I beg of you. And Luffy's like, what? Like, look at him like, wait, you ain't no, just no normal old man. And Queen says, all right, I've made my decision. I've come up with an exciting idea, which is interesting. What does that mean? And, you know, uh, Rizo is sitting behind a carriage kind of in there where they're loading up the rocks and I'm guessing moving them with and he's by the caves that we've seen the mysterious figure in that the going guys and come to find out that's Kiyomatsu one of the samurai three samurais that um Kinemon was telling them they needed to find so he's been in the whole time some people speculated it was him somebody speculated it was Odin some people speculated it was the rocks captain well now we know it's Kiyomatsu which is the most you know, plausible figure to be inside the cage, which makes a lot of more sense. A lot more sense. So that's interesting that we got that fact right there. So um hmm, that makes me wonder. Since he since they say they execute everybody, but it doesn't seem like they do. So does that mean Odin is alive? But then again, we did say Kimon and Momo Momonosuke said that they seen him die but are we sure that they seen him do that so uh this is all i gotta say guys um hit me down in the comments if you have anything to say hit my twitter that's going to be in the description uh, like the video if you like the video dislike the video if you dislike the video and i'll catch you guys later remember anime manga and gaming is all that and i'm out